Good morning. Today we are working on Reader's Notebook Lesson 24, and we are on pages 339 and 340. And we are using words in context today. And what we mean by context is the part of a text or part of a statement that surrounds a particular word or a passage, and it helps us to determine its meaning. We have eight words today, and we are going to be reading sentences and determining the meaning of those words from that sentence. We're using the context of the first sentence to determine which of our eight words would best fit the second sentence. So we have the words beacon, mishap, pioneer, lectured, treacherous, parcel, journal, and challenge. Let's go ahead and dig right into these. Number one, we have the first sentence. Historians shine a light on life in the past. Their work is like a blank. Okay, so historians shine a light on life in the past. So what could that tell us? Their work is like a what? And we can go up into our words and we see the word beacon. Okay, we see the word beacon. And the definition of beacon is a fire or light set in a high or prominent position as a warning signal or as a celebration. And here we can see it's like a signal. Historians shine light on life in the past. And so that shine light is going to be our indicators, our context clues for knowing that number one is going to be the word beacon. Let's look at the next number two here. She accidentally dropped food on her shirt. She had a blank at lunch. Okay, so she accidentally dropped food on her shirt. That would mean that she had a what at lunch? Well, we can see here we have the word mishap. And the definition of mishap is an unlucky accident. And so the key words there, the key word in our first sentence is accidentally. And so we now know that she had a mishap at lunch. Number four, a personal diary recorded the journey. The blank became a historic record. Well, what became a historic record? The personal diary. So what up here in our list of words could be a personal diary? And that's going to be journal. One of our definitions for journal is a daily record of news or events of a personal nature. And then the synonym for a journal is diary. And so for number three, it's going to be the journal became a historic record. Number four, he explained why we were wrong. He blank us on staying safe. And this one, what could we talk about when somebody is telling us about being safe? Well, we have the word lectured. And one of the definitions for lecture is to talk seriously or reprovingly to someone, meaning you're telling them or reprimanding them. And so number four is going to be, he lectured us on staying safe. I am going to now have you complete five, six, seven, and eight on your own and use that first sentence, the context, the information to help you determine which word best fits in the sentences for numbers five through eight. And if you are struggling with the definition of pioneer or treacherous or parcel or challenge, look those words up. Use your resources and tools to find the definitions so that you can see what best fits if the context clues are not quite enough for you. You can pause the video here and then click play again when you're ready to move to page 340. Page 340, we're talking about prefixes. We have in, un, dis, and miss. In numbers 1 through 10, we're writing the basic word that best fits each clue. And so you're taking your basic words from your list here, numbers 1 through 20, and finding out which one fits in which sentence for numbers 1 through 10. You can go ahead and put an X through the challenge at the bottom. We'll do a couple together. Number one, if people purposely harm a living thing, they do this. We're going to go ahead and go down to number six. If you're purposely harming something, you mistreat it. So mistreat. Number two, if you're not sure someone is telling you the truth, you might describe that person like this. And this is a good example where we can use some context context clues, and some of our grammar. Now, if you were describing a person, you wouldn't say that person is mislead, though lying or not telling the truth could be misleading. And we don't have the word misleading. We have mislead. So if you keep working your way down your list, you're going to see number eight is dishonest, which also means not telling the truth. 
And so number two is going to be dishonest because you could describe a person as dishonest. You could say he is dishonest. Number three says, to find something new, you do this. And when we read through our words, if you're going to find something new, I always think about like explorers. You are going to discover. And that's number 17 on your list. Discover. Number four, if you and a friend argue, you do this. And when you're arguing, you disagree. And so number four is going to be the word disagree. We'll move to number five. You might describe a very wobbly chair like this. I'm going to go down your list and you can see we have the word unstable. If a chair is very wobbly, it is likely unstable. All right, kiddos, you're going to co going to complete 6 through 10 on your own. When you have finished pages 339 and 340, please take a picture of your work, attach it to the assignment, upload, and turn it in on Teams. Thank you.